Hey guys, you will never guess what Matt and I just did. We just bought a new mattress. <laughs> I am so excited. I know it's such like a lame thing to be excited about, but we needed one so bad. I don't know if I've shown you guys or not, but I will show you now. The bed that we currently have is a bit old. <laughs> it's Matt's old bed, but I wanted it because it was a king size bed. And I have never had a king size bed before until this one. And it's great, especially because Mr. Matthew is kind of a flailer of a sleeper. He is all over the place and he likes to sleep in the middle of the bed. And so I need a little extra space. But the problem with this bed is that it is a firm mattress. And that's pretty good for Matt. He likes more solid support. However, I am a soft mattress kind of gal and I need one that is super, super squishy. So this is how we have dealt with that issue. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but I'm gonna get down like this. <laughs> I have a huge foam squishy on my side because his is so like freaking firm. It's like a rock over here. It's the worst. <laughs> anyway, there's like a freaking two or three inch difference on our halves of the bed. <laughs> it works nicely because he can't get to me when we're sleeping. So he has to stay on his half, but obviously it's not great. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it's under this thing. One more time. Huh. Anyway, yeah, so I have one of these huge squishy guys on my side, so it's way more comfortable. But Matt has always had some pretty nasty back pain since I've known him. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's he hasn't had the right mattress or he just inherently has like back issues, but I'd say since we started dating, he's had like three or four really nasty episodes where he's pulled his back at work or something. And, um, well, what I have personally deduced, I am not a doctor or anything, but I think it has to do with his sciatic nerve. I think it gets pinched. And so he's just like out for months. And each time it's happened, it's gotten a little bit worse. And so thankfully, I don't think it's happened in like a year at least, but he has been having some like just regular lower back pain. And so my wonderful mother suggested to us that maybe it's time that we get a new bed. And so that's what we went and did. We went and found ourselves a Labor Day sale and got us a new mattress. So we didn't get it today, but it will be delivered tomorrow, and I'm super, super excited. We're going to be sleeping on the same level again, <laughs> and um, we got a pretty sweet deal. We got these cool pillows. I'll show them to you. Look at them. They're so... I can't describe the feeling to you, but they came... I totally opened them without you guys. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking, but they came tightly rolled up in like a little log shape, and then you pulled them out of their bag, and they just went poof and poofed up into these gloriously comfortable pillows. I'm obsessed. So we have two of those and we got new sheets. Where are they? They're right here. Okay, so we got bamboo sheets. I'm so excited. So the deal that they were having was that you got a set of pillows and a set of sheets when you bought a bed but they were just for the microfiber sheets, so I had to pay a little bit extra for these guys. But these only cost 50 bucks, and bamboo sheets are friggin' expensive, so I am super excited. They don't really show their color. These are technically chocolate colored, but they don't look like it. I don't know if you can tell, like, it doesn't seem very chocolatey to me. I know the lighting's a bit different from, like, the camera to the, to real life, but... We'll see how they look on the bed. Either way, super excited. Now, I just have to do a bit of cleaning so that the bed people have a path to get to our room tomorrow when they bring the bed. 
I cannot wait. It's going to be great. <laughs> we had to do a little compromising though on the bed we picked because obviously I like the super squishy, Matt likes the super hard, so we got a medium firm mattress, which I think will be fine for both of us because it's soft enough and it's supportive enough for him, so I think we'll be good. I think we will be good. We were actually looking at sleep number beds. Um, oh God, it was probably about a year ago. We were looking at sleep number beds and I went and got a quote from them, like figured out what my sleep number was and all that jazz. And it was gonna be like five or $6,000 because we wanted it to do like the sitting up thing and the moving and all that jazz. And we had to have it split in the middle, obviously, so we could each move individually and then also have our own sleep numbers. So it was gonna be a little bit costly. So Matt, as the responsible adult that he is, did a butt ton of research this morning and determined that um, sleep numbers or air mattresses as they're called um, really weren't exactly what we were looking for anyway. And so we looked into all the different types of mattresses and honestly, the one that we liked the most were, or as far as reviews go, um, we, what were we on? I think it was called sleeplikethedead.com. Anyway, it's like this super detailed website, like reviewing all the types of mattresses and that kind of thing. But the one that we really, really liked was the latex mattresses, which I had never heard of before. And it kind of confused me because when I think of latex, I think of like the rubber gloves, like latex gloves. I was like, I don't understand how you could have a latex bed. That doesn't make any sense. But apparently when I looked up pictures and stuff, it just looks like squishy foam. So I, latex must be able to be different kinds of materials. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> anyway, that was the one that we found that we liked the best. However, they were a bit pricey as well. And we were trying to avoid spending a bunch of money. So we landed back on the foam mattresses, which the only downside that we found to that was the category of edge support, which I guess means when you get close to the edge of the bed, it doesn't like stay as form fitted as other mattresses, which usually tends to be an issue for um, bigger people. So we were testing it out in the store and I mean, you could tell that it wasn't like as stable or anything, but it wasn't really a problem. So. That's what we got. We got ourselves a foam mattress. One of those ones that comes up all really tightly wrapped and then it like explodes when you open it. So it should be pretty easy to set up, though the guys that are coming are probably gonna open it up and set it on the bed for us. So yeah, that's my update. Now I have to clean the house because my mom is gonna come over and hang out with me for a bit. We'll probably just watch a movie and hang out.
right, you guys. My apartment is clean. My mom and brother are coming over. They're getting some fire pie pizza, which is delicious. And we'll probably just watch a movie and hang out a little bit. Um, tomorrow, though, I think I want to decorate the apartment with Halloween stuff. I know it's a little early. However, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and I like having my decorations up for more than a month. So, and don't worry, I don't like have a ridiculous amount of stuff. I just have, you know, a couple of like bins of stuff that I like putting out. So, yeah. <gasps> I don't think that I showed you guys the new stuff I got yesterday. <gasps> okay, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Eee, I got three new things for my Halloween collection. Usually, each year I go at the end of the season and get the discount stuff for next year. But I didn't do that last year, so I had to buy stuff this year. Anywho, I think they're really cool, and I hope you do too. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!